Okay, all right, friends of the Easy Lab system. I'm gonna make this video trying to show you the struggle to figure out how to set up a new driver on the Easy Track. So, Zeran software is opened. The first thing you do, of course, is to get to the option the settings, which is over there, and then you go to the Easy Lab tab and so of course uh, you have your easy lab tower connected to the USB and now we need to connect to the software so we go to easy lab and we click on connect a couple of time and now it is green so now it is connected so I already have a transponder uh, in my car that's registered but just for the sake of the video I've put a new one inside there so something that you can check first of all as you can see if your uh, finish line is getting or not the signal from your transponder so you make sure your car is uh, powered with the battery transponder is uh, plugged into your receiver and when you go underneath you'll see the green LED turn on so that means this is checking is receiving your the signal of the transponder so this is a good sign now if you try to go to uh, like this tab over there driver database this is the drivers that I already have and you would think that you would be able to create a new driver in there by doing a right click but you actually can't and inside the tab over here if you do a right click you can do registering register driver hold on this is a terrible laptop I'm having a hard time with the mouth register driver and you're back to this screen nothing is happening so don't ask me how but this is how I figured out how to get the easy lab system uh, oh, whatever I selected a driver so you start a training session like that start training and then you take your little transponder transponder and set it under there okay you heard the sound so now it has found a new transponder new TX so that is the reference number so now on that guy over there now you can go to this little dude and you should be able to register driver no <laughs> okay i'm gonna figure out what i did before i didn't do that for a while uh show session start position down check properties create new driver okay this is all very logical isn't it and now you can create your new driver you write your id uh, transponder speaker name nickname color and so on and now every time you start the training session and you drive the transponder below it will know that it's this transponder and so let's do that now because i'm going to use this one for my uh, atomic chassis so i'm gonna call it atomic amr nickname amr transponder blah 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 blue and let's make this big there must be a way to say accept here you go all right and now it is registered here so now if i drive in a training session it is going to know the name of the transponder you see AMR in red so here you go this is how to register a new driver on the easy lap system hope that was helpful bye bye